Subtitious observation of ectoplasm matrix cicado controlled by the human female Ashlyn. Hello and welcome to this Ashlyn Spotlight and Guide. So let's dive right in. Ashlyn class type she falls into are Summoner and Brawler. These are the two main playstyles of Ashlyn, but she can also work as a cast of support. The formation you use Ashlyn is on the front line to be annoyed to the enemy team just by chipping them down bit by bit until you see an opening. Ashlyn also works well in the backline poking the enemy team down with Kador and supporting her team with her utility she offers. Now moving on to basic skills. Ashlyn's left mouse button is Slash. Slash is a melee attack with a 1-3 hit combo. Any enemy struck by this attack so Kador would deal double damage too. Ashlyn's jump attack press space plus left mouse button. Ashlyn's jump attack both have the same speed but different animations. One when Kador is in the blade and one when he is out of the blade. Dodge. To use dodge, press A, D, or S, then tap shift to go in the direction you want to. When dodging, you become invulnerable and can move to the left or right or back. Dodging uses up a lot of stamina and dodging when you are out of stamina puts you in a slow animation. In this animation, you can be hit. Kador's command lets you summon and place Kador on the field. Kador has 300 HP shield and absorbs 75% of incoming damage. Kador's War Cry. Kador interrupts nearby enemies, cancelling any attack going off. This skill is a positional AoE going off in Kador's location. Into the Blade. Kador heals you for 100 HP and enters your sword. You gain 10% damage and 10% armor while Kador is in the sword. Terrify. Enemies near Kador are launched, slowed and weakened for 4, 6 and 8 seconds depending on the potency of the focus. The focus skill works off focus charges. 1, 2 and 3 focus charges are needed to power up the duration of the effects. Tier 1 upgrades for basic attacks. Slash. Father's Lesson Left Path. Slash deals 50% more damage to foes struck by Sir Kador recently. Spectral Wave, right path, hold left mouse button, send out a spectral wave projector which pierces enemies, you no longer perform a melee attack. Tier 1 upgrade for Kador's command. Kador's charge, left path, Kador performs a powerful melee attack once every 7 seconds. Kador's defense is right path, allies near Kador gain 10% armor. Tier 1 upgrade for Kador's war cry, chest eyes, left path, Kador's war cry slows enemies for 3 seconds. Spectral barrier, right path, Kador creates a projectile barrier for 3 seconds, no longer interrupts. Tier 1 upgrade for into the blade, you swift return, left path, you gain a 25% move speed for 4 seconds, you also gain 10% stamina on you, shielding presence, right path, you gain a 300 HP shield for 4 seconds. Tier 1 upgrade for terrify, nigh invulnerable, left path, you take 75% less damage while performing terrify. Resurgence, right path. On use, you regain stamina. Now moving on to tier 2 upgrades. Tier 2 upgrade for Slash. Father's Flame, left path, left path. You deal more damage to burning enemies. Father's Reproof, left path, right path. Weakens enemies with each hit. Minus 5% damage, stacks up to 5 times. Spectral Might, right path, left path. Allows hit by Spectral Wave, gain plus 25 damage for 5 seconds. Spectral Defense, right path, right path. Allows hit by Spectral Wave, gain plus 25 armor for 5 seconds. Tier 2 upgrade for Kador's command, fast recharge, left path, left path. Kador performs his power attack more often than once every 3 seconds, burning blade, left path, right path. Kador in charge and fix burning for 3 seconds. Kador's mind, allies near Kador deal 15% damage with basic attacks. Kador's restoration, right path, right path. Allies near Kador gain 30% HP every second. Tier 2 update for Kado's War Cry Dread, left path, left path. Kado's War Cry inflicts cripple for 3 seconds slow plus reduced jump height. Intimidation, left path, right path. Kado's War Cry inflicts weakness for 3 seconds. Spectral armor, right path, left path. Allies inside spectral barrier have 20% armor. Spectral lens, right path, right path. Allies inside barrier have 100% crit chance. Tier 2 upgrade for Into the Blade, Ardent Blade, left left, you gain 25% damage for 4 seconds, Ephemeral Sprint, left right, Into the Blade hides your presence and gain invisibility for 4 seconds, Aura of Healing, right left, heals you and nearby allies, Pure of Spirit, right right, you and nearby allies gain a debuff for immunity for 4 seconds. Now moving on to Talents. Talents level 3, Angular Momentum. 50% basic attack damage from behind and after dodging. Unguard, 10% front armor and 20% while attacking. Hit and run, for 5 seconds, 10% move speed and 15% armor after using focus. Talents level 5, Ghostly Might, left mouse button, you deal 15% more damage when Kador is in the bait. Echoes from beyond, Q, Warcry affects a larger area. 
total recall E, 25% shorter cooldown on skills and 25% more healing. Talents level 7, calling the shots. When you debuff a foe, nearby allies gain 10% damage for 5 seconds once every 5 seconds. Another's keeper, 10% healing power, gain focus when you buff or heal an ally once every 5 seconds. Aegis, after using focus, other nearby allies gain 250 HP shield and absorb 75% damage taken for 3 seconds. Talents level 9, Hero's Vitality, gain 50% maximum health. Endurance, gain 33% maximum stamina. Concentration, 20% faster focus gain. Now moving on to the basic type of build I use. So for level 2 and 3, I take Chestires and Dread. This is to give me my hard CC early on so I can lock down heroes if we dive or they dive in the first few minutes of the game. The level 3 talent I take is Engard. This is to make me more tanky when diving. Level 4, I take Cadle's Defences. This is a good skill to take when you wish to take traits with other brawlers and it also helps to aid your team in stronger dives. Level 5, I take Farber's Lesson. This aids in better damage from you and Kador early on, as this works well with better trades with you and other brawlers or assassins. Level 5, Talent. Personal talents, I take Echoes from Beyond. This gives me a much bigger AoE on the hard-hitting CC, so you can lock down more people on the outside of the original AoE. If you feel like you can land Kador's War Cry more often without a bigger AoE, I recommend taking Total Recall, as this will build into a other skill later on. Level 6, I take Cadle's Restoration. I take this as you'll be able to outtrade more or less everybody in a 1v1 as Cadle becomes a walking bloom pool. The bonuses also go to your team when they are by Cadle, so this is a lovely addition to when you team dive. Level 7, I take Swift Return as this skill will let you move about the map a lot more faster and catch up with escaping enemies. It gives Ashlyn her much needed movement speed in the game as most heroes will outrun her if you do not even have your queue up. This skill also works well with a talent called Total Recall. The level 7 talent I take is calling the shots. I take this mostly to buff my team's damage in dies when I queue the other team and works well with Kado's restoration and Kado's defensive. Level 8 I take Faber's reproof. I take this skill to stack weakness on other heroes and while trading. This helps me trade in 1v1s and if played right helps me win 1v3s as long as you're controlling your cooldowns correctly. Level 9 I take ephemeral sprint. This gives you invisibility. Level 9 I take is Hero's Vitality, this gives you more HP so you can last longer in fights. Level 10 I take is Reassurance to rage in stamina or to chase a target, but as you use your focus at range most of the time you don't benefit from the skills on this focus. And finally moving on to tips and tricks with using Kador. In the scenario above I choose to throw out Kador just to build up one focus as I was about to hit one focus, but the enemy team then grouped together leaving a triangle formation which gave me a clear indication to use my focus. But I would have only used my focus knowing full well I can get a kill off from Gnosis and that my team are able to help. I notice it would be a 3 on 3 as I had my teammate to the left and right so I choose to throw Kador in to, and focus launching away the back two enemies and sending Gnosis forward giving us time to kill him before the other two could react. In the next scenario is when I was escaping from a wound I had just taken, a Wu lands right in front of me so what I do, just milliseconds before he goes into his tongue animation, I drop Kador in front of me to take the hit and Kador to get grabbed as I cannot dodge out of the way as all my stamina is low. This forces Wu to blow some of his skills and allow me to walk past. After I pass, I call Kador into the blade as I know Wu has some of his skills up and when if one of them hits me I'm still a goner so when Kador comes back into the blade it gives me a speed boost just to miss the other skills and to get out alive. And that concludes the Ashland Spotlight and Guide. If you like this guide you know what to do and see you on the airship.